still snoozing, waiting for me. Hi everyone, thank you all for being here with us as we roll out of New York. Thanks for all the comments on the last video, everybody giving us, you know, thumbs up and well wishes for the traveling. You know, honestly, uh, I was a little, little wound up going into this trip just because, uh, you know, honestly, I don't know why, just a little bit wound up. Everything so far has been going great. Uh, what you're seeing here is us just pulling out of Webster, New York. We just crossed the Arondequoit Bay, which is a bay right off of Lake Ontario. And we're just winding our way out of uh, very familiar roads here. I've traveled on these roads. This is uh, actually the way I used to go to work at my last job. So that right there, we just crossed through this interchange. That used to be called the Can of Worms before they revamped it some years ago. And it was called the Can of Worms because it was the worst designed interchange between two interstates. If you wanted to continue on Interstate 490, you had to cross four lanes of traffic from one side to the other to continue straight on. It was just the worst designed interchange ever. And I don't know when exactly, 15 years ago or so, 20 years ago, they redid the whole thing and made it more, uh, more advanced and less dangerous. There used to be a lot of accidents there and a lot of traffic jams, uh, but it's a lot smoother now. And here we are getting on Interstate 90, uh, headed towards Buffalo, then Pennsylvania, and then on our way. So here we get wound up and get the truck up to speed, and we're on our way. Right here we're pulling into a, a rest stop. I typically do this when we first start a trip. This was just like maybe an hour down the road uh, just to check everything over, get out and stretch our legs. I got Lefty out and there was some grass area that I was able to walk him around on. So we spent about 20 minutes at this rest stop uh, and then got back on the road. I, I do a lot of stopping when we drive. Those of you that have come on these trips with us before, you know we do a lot of stopping, especially in the mornings. Um, we get up and drive a bit and stop and drive a bit and stop just to kind of ease into the day. And then midday is when I usually go longer between stops um, and then uh, decide when I want to call it quits for the day.
Hello. Well, we have stopped. This was my plan to come to this rest stop. It's a really nice one. So we're in Pennsylvania. Um, it's almost 3 p.m. So I think we're going to stay here for the day, for the rest of the day and uh, through the night. Uh, once we leave here, it's not great driving. We've got to go, you know, Cleveland, Toledo. It's hectic. And, you know, this was our first day back on the road. I feel good. I'm in a good mood. The truck's doing great. I don't want to dive into all that congested driving and then try to find a place to stay for the night. There is another rest stop that we've stayed at that's about another hour and 10 minutes. It's not as nice as this one. So I'm just gonna call it for the day here, get something to eat. Beautiful place here. There's vineyards all right out the backside of this rest stop. Um, so for our first day, getting back in the in the groove the truck's doing great I put 35 pounds of air in the airbags I had 20 in there and it felt it feels a lot better with 35 because last year when I first put the airbags in I put them at 40 pounds just I didn't know what to start with uh, and then I like went to 30 and so at 35 it feels good um, so far uh, I don't feel like the back end is, um, I don't feel any lightness on the front end. You know, it's it's keeping the back end raised up, which is good. And I'm hungry, and for our first day, getting out of that campground, that wet, muggy campground, it's beautiful out here. We just took like a 20-minute walk out in the grass back here. This is a beautiful, beautiful rest stop uh, in Pennsylvania. It really kept up nice, so we're going to call it for the day. So we'll see you in the morning. Oh, goodness. Okay, good morning. Had a great night at the rest stop. I turned the truck around before uh, dinner last night, so my head is pointing towards the vineyards, the grape fields back there and the interstate and everything is that way. So quiet, uh, my fan, I put my little white noise on the phone playing so we didn't hear anything. I slept for six or seven straight hours. So we're going to ride up the road as a truck stop about 20 minutes up the road and pick up a cup of coffee and put some diesel in and get on the way. We will get through Ohio today uh, into Illinois and we'll see how far we get. As I mentioned, we uh, drove up, I think it was about a 25 mile run up to this truck stop. This is one of my favorite things to do in the morning is to get up, not make coffee in the truck because I know there's a rest stop within 30, 45 miles and just get on the road 
and drive that little stretch and get some truck stop coffee. Who doesn't love truck stop coffee? They always have it fresh early in the morning like this. And plus I get some driving done in the dark as the sun's coming up. I really enjoy that. I don't like driving a lot in the dark. Uh, I didn't enjoy the price of diesel. If you just saw that, it was 509 at this station. I only put in uh, 10 gallons. Uh, don't really think I needed some, but I don't like to run too low. So I just put in 10 gallons and we continued on our way and got back on the interstate. And you can see the, the sky is starting to lighten up. So I really like this time of the morning with uh, my truck stop coffee. I want to take a quick minute to thank Barry. Barry is a friend of mine from the channel who sent me some memory cards. So all of this dash cam footage that you're watching is on those memory cards that he sent me. They're a larger size and without those I would have to keep swapping cards throughout the day and I lost footage in the past because of the smaller cards I was using. So Barry, thank you for sending those. They made my driving that much less stressful. This is the coolest. We just pulled into the Ohio Welcome Center. Look at this little... Uh, that's a JBL speaker, and I hope that the music isn't going to give me a copyright strike, but they've got them placed. There's a couple more down there. And he's singing a song about Ohio. Oh, they're all over the place. Here's some more. Wow, it's great. You can hear the music all around here. That is so cool. I thought it was somebody like blasting music out of their car. Good for you, Ohio. I bet you those aren't cheap either. JBL. That is so cool. We're just stopping. This is a good, good rest stop for an overnighter. That looks like more um, grapevines for the vineyards. We should have come here last night. Look at this place. Yeah, singing a song about Ohio. This way. Come on. What a great place. This looks brand new. They still got the, this is new grass straw down here, like they just landscaped this. I bet you this thing is brand new. What a beautiful rest stop. Yeah, I don't remember this. I think this is brand new. What do you think left? Hey, stop digging up their straw. Got a metal roof. This is so cool. So if you're ever headed westbound on Interstate 90 and you're heading into Ohio and it fits your schedule, pick this for your overnight spot. 
I'm guessing they must turn the music off overnight, I would hope. 